Let's fuck it. Oh, hold on. Let's fucking go. First of all, if you haven't seen the movie, no worries. This will be a spoiler-free review of Deadpool and Wolverine. No spoilers in this one, but if you have seen the movie, just watch this video anyway, you know what I'm saying? But also stick around because I definitely got a spoiler review on the way. If you want to skip all my yapping, then you can skip to the time code and just get right to the review. All right, so pretty big MCU fan here, but as far as the X-Men goes, eh. I'm kind of a moderate fan. They definitely have some things I love. They definitely have some things I don't love so much. As far as the first X-Men goes, I like it. I think it's a good movie. I'm not super crazy about it. I was like three years old when this movie came out, so I didn't even see it until I was maybe 13, 14, 15. But yeah, I like it. I think it's a solid movie and I, I definitely respect it in terms of being one of the first superhero movies to actually, you know, take it seriously. You know, it, it kind of started this renaissance of superhero films and comic book movies being taken more seriously. So as much as I don't love it, as much as the diehard fans may love it, I still really appreciate it. Now, X-Men 2, that's my shit. That movie is honestly fantastic from top to bottom. The, the, the story, the writing, the characters, the effects, all of it, bro. That movie's fire. X-Men 3 is a movie. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I'm the juggernaut, bitch! I don't hate it though. I don't hate it nearly as much as a lot of other comic book fans do, especially a lot of X-Men fans. It's a mess. You know, the story isn't great. There's a lot of dumb moments and it's lacking all of those great character moments that made the first two X-Men movies so good. So I see why people don't like it, but I also think it has some cool stuff to offer too. I think they have a lot of really great ideas that just aren't executed the best. And I do feel like they have a lot of great action sequences. I think it's a fun movie, even for all of its dumb moments. So yeah, it's a movie that I don't dislike, but I can understand why people do. Now, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Now, yeah, that, that one is definitely a stinker. Again, not a movie I hate. I don't think I hate any X-Men movie, but that's probably still the worst one. I mean, oh my God, I, I don't... I don't think that movie works on really any level. It doesn't work as a Wolverine origin story. It doesn't work as just a dumb comic book movie because honestly, it's kind of boring and it's got really horrible effects, bad writing, bad acting, bad direction. It's just, it doesn't work, man. It, it, it really doesn't work. And it's one of the, it's one of those mud stains on the genre when you actually get down to it. What definitely is not a mud stain, however, is X-Men First Class. That, that was probably the first X movie that I ever watched. I remember I was sitting in my room. I was living with my parents still. I was sitting on my room on the floor looking for something to watch and it came across my screen and I was like, huh, there's that X-Men thing that I've never really tapped into. And I was like, let me give this a shot. And holy shit. I feel like First Class is one of the best written comic book movies ever made. I feel like it's one of the best acted comic book movies of all time. But yeah, I love taking that deep dive into Xavier and Eric. I feel like their characters are very interesting and James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender they kill it in those roles they kill it I think after that was the Wolverine and I actually really love that movie too at, at least I love the first two acts of it I, I think Hugh Jackman is doing a great job I think it's a great setup for the story I like that it takes place in Japan I feel like the setting is great that fucking sequence on the train Right after that is what a lot of you will probably consider one of the best movies ever, X-Men Days of Future Past. You won't find me being a contrarian. That movie is amazing. It's one of those movies in the genre that really made me happy that there was not just MCU DC. You know what I'm saying? Like it made me really happy that there were other studios making these comic book movies and putting their creative stamp on it because X-Men just seemed to come up with these ideas that just seem so creative sometimes. And I feel like it really shines through on Days of Future Past. Unfortunately, the main X-Men franchise kind of took another nosedive with Apocalypse. Now, as time goes on, 
fine. I actually don't think I dislike the movie as much. I feel like the next time I watch it, I'm gonna be a little bit more like easy on it. I don't know, man. It felt like they wasted a lot of stories there. I felt like they wasted a lot of plot points, wasted a lot of characters. The action was cool, but a little overblown, a lot of CG. Yeah, X-Men Apocalypse is it's not great, but you know, it, it's not one of the worst ones. Not nah, one of the worst ones is Dark Phoenix. That movie is horrid. Again, I don't hate any X-Men movie, but I feel like that one just really felt like a slap in the face because it didn't feel like a finale. It didn't feel like a climax. The actors felt like they barely wanted to be there, especially with Jennifer Lawrence. The, the the movie itself just has no pace. It just has no energy. It doesn't have any momentum. It has no style. It just kind of feels like a wet fart. Logan is amazing though. You still have time. And I like the Deadpool movies. To be honest, I you know, I never was like doing backflips about the Deadpool movies. I mean, I've always really enjoyed the movies. I definitely, you know, love to watch them every time I get a chance to rewatch them. I, I get a kick out of them. I think Ryan Reynolds is great as the character. And I love that he got a chance to redeem himself from whatever the fuck they were doing in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Like, we got a chance to revisit this character and truly do it justice. Some of the best moments of this genre is when we get to revisit things that didn't quite work and look at it with a different lens, look at it with a different creative team and approach it from a different direction and really execute and make it something exciting for people. So even if I don't, you know, have Deadpool in my all time list like a lot of other people do, I still really appreciate it and I still really love the movies. As far as Deadpool and Wolverine teaming up, I know this is something that the fans have always been gassed to see. They've been begging for it to be redeemed almost since, again, whatever the fuck they was doing in X-Men Origins Wolverine. I, I, I definitely can sympathize with fans wanting them to get it right, wanting them to deliver something very exciting and impactful for the audience. So when I heard that Deadpool and Wolverine was actually coming and that we were actually gonna see these two on screen together, why would I not be excited, man? Why would I not be just as high as everybody else. So in Deadpool and Wolverine, Deadpool is recruited by the TVA to join the Avengers. Unfortunately, they also tell him that his timeline is deteriorating due to the death of Wolverine and his friends will cease to exist unless Deadpool can find a way to stop it. So right off the bat, I have to tell you guys, Deadpool and Wolverine, the two characters that are selling this thing, they're amazing. Ryan and Hugh have so much chemistry. Like it's insane. It's, it's actually insane. The care and and love that they have for these characters bleeds through the screen and it's always bled through the screen watching them in their other movies. As far as Ryan goes, it's always felt like he's tried to bring something endearing, something charming to the character. Obviously, you have to have the killing and the blood and the references, the fourth wall breaks, the endless irreverent jokes. This movie is filled with that. Like it, it's filled to the rim. It's overflowing with it. You get so many jokes that come at you every couple seconds that honestly, you're likely to miss 25% of them just because you, you'll be laughing over them or the audience will be laughing over them, which means the replay value is real high. But it's, it's never just that. You know what I'm saying? Like you feel like this guy really cares about the people around him as much as it may not seem like it sometimes. You know, his desire to save his friends in this dire situation absolutely shines through in the movie's most tender moments and it gels beautifully with Hugh's portrayal of Logan this time around. In this movie we get a Wolverine that fucked up his world and he feels immense regret about that. You can see the sadness in his eyes. You can see the depression in his eyes and hear the depression in his voice. You know, you, you can hear that this this guy that's just given up hope. Hugh Jackman has always been an amazing actor. I mean, er, almost everything I've seen him in, he's been great. I mean, he was great in The Prestige. He was great in The Greatest Showman. I mean, oh my God, he's even great as the fucking rat from Flushed Away. I mean, Hugh Jackman has shown himself to 
be able to really show his talents, not in terms of just being comedic or being an action star, but also just pulling these layers out of this character. He's amazing as Wolverine. You know, I know Deadpool was joking when he said, you know, Disney's gonna have him playing Wolverine till he's fucking 90, but I mean, who else can we see as Wolverine at this point? Like, when I think Wolverine, I see Hugh Jackman in my head. When I think Deadpool, I see Ryan Reynolds in my head. These, they embody these characters perfectly and seeing them on screen together for an entire movie, it's everything you would ask for. It's funny, it's crazy, it's over the top. There's plenty of fights. They fight each other multiple times and I found that to be ultra satisfying. Some people might think it's a little overblown, a little over the top and I could, I could relate to that if it was anything else, but with this, Hey man, I just sat back and enjoyed the fun because it was a lot of fun to be had. And that's just talking about Deadpool and Wolverine themselves, but talking about the movie, I mean, the whole thing is just a really fun, exciting ride. I haven't really felt this way about a Marvel movie in a long time. Not in the sense of I haven't enjoyed a Marvel movie like this in a long time, but more in the sense of I haven't had this much fun in a Marvel movie in a while. You know, Guardians 3 was excellent. It was definitely a more emotional movie than I was expecting. There were a lot of moments that were more serious. There were a lot of moments that were a lot more dramatic or thrilling in that movie. Wakanda Forever obviously was great, but it had a lot of somber moments. It had a much more melancholy tone for a lot of it, especially with <laughs> the, the the person that dies in that fucking movie. No, no spoilers for me if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, it's just, it's been a while since I sat in the movie theater and for the entirety of the runtime just felt this exciting blood rushing through my body. I just felt like I was jumping in my seat. I felt like a fucking jelly bean. I was just excited and smiling the whole time. The only times I stopped smiling was when I had to because my fucking, my fucking cheekbones were sore. I was like, yo, everything you're saying is hilarious, but I can't keep laughing like this. I'm gonna fucking pass out, man. But yeah, everybody else in the movie is great too. I'm not gonna dare spoil for you here who is in this movie. If you've been able to avoid the spoilers and you're not gonna see the movie this weekend, chill out on the social social media. You know they're gonna be on there to ruin it for you, okay? But I'll just say this. If you're a fan of X-Men and you're a fan of the comic book movies, the cameos in this movie, they ought to make you smile because they definitely did for me. We got a villain here and her name is Cassandra Nova. And as far as villains go, I thought she was decent. Her powers are creepy as fuck. I, I love seeing her powers. I'm not gonna reveal who the character is, but her powers involve her kind of reaching her hand physically into your mind and whenever her powers are on display it looks fucking disgusting and it was pretty rad the reason i wasn't crazy about the character though is because she really doesn't have that much development which is something i don't take away a whole bunch of points for i love when a villain can just be evil for the sake of it some of my favorite disney villains are the ones that don't really have a reason to be bad they're just bad you know, Scar, Jafar, those are the classics, man. It's just that there's such little detail as far as Cassandra Nova is, uh, is concerned. There's just not much in terms of writing for her. With the movie being a couple hours, by the time we get to the third act, I just wasn't really feeling the stakes with her character as much. I think the actor portraying her though, Emma Corrin, I thought she was great. She has a lot of funny moments herself. Everybody has their funny moments in this movie, honestly. It's a Deadpool movie, so what do you expect? But also in those scenes where she's supposed to be intimidating and when she's supposed to be really intense, it hits, man. I want to jump back to the cameos real quick because what I appreciated about this movie is that it didn't feel like they were just throwing cameos at us just to go, hey, look at this person. Hey, look at this person. Don't you remember them? Don't you remember them? Because let's be honest, a lot of these callbacks and references and fan service type of things. It's kind of been getting old in a lot of these movies. And that's not an MCU thing. That's a comic book movie thing in general. What I loved about Deadpool and Wolverine is that the cameos feel meaningful and they feel like they had a point to it. And the overall vibe of this movie is one of appreciation. You know, looking at all of these comic book movies that we've gotten over the years, looking at all these X-Men movies, looking at all these uh, Avengers movies and appreciating them. Even the ones that we wasn't really feeling like that, even the ones that we walked out of going, eh, that wasn't so up to snuff. We still love them. 
You know what I'm saying? At least I'll speak for myself. I do. Even the movies that I can't fucking stand. There's a lot of us that are fans of this genre that don't walk into Deadpool and Wolverine to just watch a movie. You know, we don't think about it as, oh, I'm just going to sit down and kill a couple of hours. It's not like that for a lot of us. A lot of us, this stuff means something to us, man. These movies were there for us when we were getting bullied. These movies were there for us when we were feeling alone or grieving about something or feeling anxious about something but even more than all of that this life shit sucks sometimes life is beautiful a lot of times but a lot of times it sucks and at least for me and i know a lot of people like me these comic book movies were a way to not just distract us from the bs of everyday life but to lift it to uplift us and give us a reason to smile give us a reason to laugh give us a reason to cheer give us a reason to be on the edge of our seats it, 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 there's a reason why these movies make so much money there's a reason why everybody just hypes up the conversation when these it's time for these movies to come out there's a reason why we get so excited it's because we genuinely love this shit man you think i would have went to see avengers endgame fucking i don't even know how many times seven eight times in the theater because oh it's just a cool movie i really like nah man like i feel something when tony stark has the fucking gauntlet on with the stones in it and he says i am iron man the shit he said in the first fucking iron man that my dad took me to go see because I just thought the movie looked that fucking cool and I wanted to see it that bad. There's a reason seeing that why seeing these character arcs come to such emotionally satisfying endings, it, it does something for me because I am a true fan of this shit and a lot of us are true fans of this shit and we can't wait until these movies come out so to go watch them and have a blast with a room full of people that also want to come and watch these things and have a blast and clap and cheer and laugh and walk out going man that was a great time that's what it's about man like it's just it feels really good to be excited about this genre again because for a while it started to kind of feel you know very hit or miss it feels like we walk out of one and we're smiling we walk out of another one and we're like uh. and deadpool and wolverine was just so satisfying from the very beginning i'm talking about the opening credits man there is a crazy scenario where deadpool is folding a bunch of motherfuckers in a way that shocked the shit out of me and in between he's doing like a fucking dance routine and it's probably the it's probably the most fun thing i've seen all year to be honest i could i could gush about this movie for another like two hours if you let me so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here this th this movie is great it, it, it's absolutely great man I, I you know what i did feel like the movie was a little long like i said the villain doesn't really have that much depth to her so by the time you get to the third act it does feel like the movie has played most of its cards and you do start to feel that fatigue some of that fatigue is due to amc playing a billion trailers before the movie these are minor complaints honestly i i, I can't imagine the movie making me happier I, I can't imagine being more satisfied than I was. I was surprised. I was shocked. I had a fucking blast. I cannot exaggerate how much fun this movie is. Definitely see it with a crowd. It's most likely you won't be able to avoid the crowds, at least for those first couple weeks, looking at the money this thing is about to make. Deadpool and Wolverine satisfies in every way, and I'm going to give it a very strong A. One of the best of the year, easily. Shout out to Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, and Sean Levi, and everybody involved with this movie, because you made a gem, and you made something that a lot of us are really going to appreciate, and we appreciate that you appreciate that we love this shit. So Deadpool and Wolverine, have you seen it yet? And if you have, go ahead and drop in the comment section what you thought about it. Did you like it? Did you not like it for some reason? Hey, look, all opinions are welcome here. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and I We'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Take it easy.